Welcome back. So in the previous lecture, we generated this amount column from the debit and credit column. And we learned that for any GL or any trial balance, how we can convert the standard debit credit uh, report to the single column amount report, which is in positives and negatives. Now using the same rule, we will convert this amount column to the debit and credit just for our own learning and practice so that you know in case we need to do that in some uh, of uh, some some areas we should be able to do that so let us start and for that i will say please add a new column and i'm going to name this new column as dr that is going to be the short of debit just because i already have used the debit for this particular column and now i will say that first of all let us begin with the if condition and because we have to you know define the rules separately for the assets and for the remaining accounts so first of all i will say that please use this rule only for the amount for the ledgers where the account key is less than or equal to 100 and now you know that we are talking about assets only but now the second thing that we have to define you know from this amount column i'm going to uh, you know drive i'm going to extract the debit values and when we are talking about the assets you know uh, the debit is going to be the positive so i will say let us add the condition that please only bring in the values where the amount is a uh, greater than uh, zero to add a condition index what we will do is that in the if formula we will add these two and signs and what that means to tax is that that please apply the two condition not just the first please apply this this second condition as well and of course you can add three four five and onwards as many conditions as you want so let us talk, continue with our dex formula so it starts as if tbl account key is less than or equal to 100 and i would say and the amount is greater than zero and now i will say apply the comma so that we talk about the result and I will say if you know if this these conditions meet what we will need to do is that please only bring in this amount column for me and if this condition do not meet please complete the, uh, this formula with zero so that you know the answer that will appear here is zero now we have written the condition for only part of the data and that is where the account key is you know less than 100 now let us complete this formula for all the rest of the data as well in the same way so i will say if the account key is you know greater than 100 and now let us talk about you know and 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 we are going to add the second condition now as i said that we are going to draft define the debit column for all the you know for accounts the positive values were debit for all other ledgers the negative values are debit so i will say and the amount is less than zero now this makes sure that i'm only talking about the negative values what i will say is that please bring in the amount but one thing we need to notice that now we are extracting the data from the single amount column which means that there must be negative signs and we don't want to show the negative sign so i multiply that with minus one and i'll apply comma and say zero so that you know if this part of the equation the conditions are not met this should be the answer should be zero for that so that you know the other formula remains unaffected from this balance i will simply press enter and it should give me the debit balance for the complete column and you can you can see that we have the results for uh, the debit column now uh, anyways you can definitely check the single values here but we have the better way and that better way would be to check the final result against the, this debit column in the report section but before i go there let me write the complete formula for the credit column as well so i will go to table tools and i will say please add a new column and this new column is going to be cr for the same reason and let us start writing that so i will say if the account key is you know less than or equal to 100 and and now let us talk about the second condition we are talking about assets right now now please ask yourself a question that which values of assets go on the credit side well definitely the negative values so i will say and the amount is less than zero then what should be the result the result should be the amount but you know since we have mentioned that let us talk about the values which are less than zero these are going to be the negative values and i don't want to show that in negative now so i will say uh, you know multiply that with minus one and if this condition any of this condition does not meet i would say please return me zero so the half of the formula has been completed 
already have i already only worked for the asset accounts now let us talk about the remaining accounts as well so i'll say if tbl gl by the way you can simply copy paste this formula and adjust that that will be faster but i will just complete it manually so i will say if tbl gl account key is greater than 100 and and the amount now we have to get the positive amount for the credit side and an amount is greater than zero i will say please bring in the amount or if the condition does not meet please bring the zero and close the bracket and just press enter and it should create the credit column for me okay that looks to be fine but let us go to our report view and let us see that if we have the right balances so we don't need this amount column anymore i'm going to exclude that so let me check this matrix and let me exclude the amount and now let us drag in debit and let us drag in the uh, the cr as well so that we can compare the results and you can see we have the same data for both the columns which i was just trying to verify against the previous columns just to make sure that our new calculation has no mistakes okay so this is the simple way we can convert the single column gl or trial balance into back to the trial balance which contains two column debit and credit i hope this will be useful for you at some times